In this video, I actually wanted to cover Ipsec's advice on how to become an amazing hacker. What's up guys, this is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Now, if you're not familiar with Ipsec, he is a content creator on YouTube, makes a lot of hack the box videos and things like that. Definitely go and check out his channel. Uh, I-P-P-S-E-C is how you spell it. Would highly recommend it. Uh, amazing content creator. And I was watching one of the Hack the Box uh, Battlegrounds the other day, which is basically a competitive uh, format they came out with um, where this was the first tournament, actually. This video was all the way back from May, so I'm a little bit late to the party, but I was watching that, and Ipsec was actually, you know, he had the cam on and everything. If you're not aware, he normally doesn't use the camera, but he was on there commentating with John Hammond, and they were just dropping, like, truckloads of amazing information dumps of, um, you know, anything from technical stuff to advice and buried in this three hour long live stream was some really amazing advice by Ipsec. And I really wanted to put a spotlight on that because what he said, I thought was really, really valuable. He was discussing how to level up in the field of offensive security. And one thing that he said was you really need to if you want to get good in this field, you really need to redefine what failure it means to you, right? You know, there's the traditional way of looking at things like, okay, you go for a certification, like maybe OSCP or something like that, and you don't pass on your first attempt. Now, most people would view that as failure, but did you really fail, right? You learned in the process of going for that certification, you probably learned a ton of things, right? You probably leveled up a ton as a pen tester, right? As a hacker. And can you really call it failure? And, you know, you know, when you, when you failed, you probably didn't fail at everything, right? There's probably a lot of things that you, you did really well. And, you know, what you probably walked away from that with was a better understanding of what it is you don't know. And that's what you want to take in and focus on and practice. And then you can level up in that area. And eventually, you can you will get the you will get the certification you will succeed in whatever you're trying to do right one of the most valuable things he said and i definitely agree with everything he's saying here that's why i'm bringing it to light one of the things he said was one of the best things is to know what it is you don't know because like when you first start you know you don't even you're not, you're not even aware of what you don't know right what they would call unconscious incompetence right you want to be go to the next level, which is con uh, conscious incompetence, right? And then you can hone in on those areas. And eventually, once you are skilled enough in all the areas, you will pass, you will achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. And I think another thing that this really highlights is, you know, when people watch uh, channels like, you know, Ipsec, maybe John Hammond, or maybe even some of my content and a lot of, a lot of the content out there today, what you know tends to happen is they feel that they watch the content and they actually feel worse you know they feel that imposter syndrome they're like these guys are so amazing and they're effortlessly getting through these boxes and maybe i just don't have what it takes maybe i'm not cut out for it right maybe i'm just not good enough and what you don't see is all of this struggle right you have to realize that these are curated videos in many cases right when you're watching the content creators go through the boxes, they've already went through it before. They've already went through the hard struggles and failed and failed and failed until they succeeded. And even if they found that box particularly easy, well, that was built upon a mountain of failures that, uh, you know, like when they first started, you know, how many times they failed, right? No one is born being good at this instantly. Everyone was absolute trash at hacking when they first started, you know? Ipsec was trash, John Hammond, I was trash, everyone. There's no one that, you know, is just such a natural at it that they never struggle. Struggling is part of the game. It's actually necessary uh, to become good at this stuff. And it's really important to keep that in mind. Redefine failure, right? Redefine it, you know, look at, you know, what you're learning, right? Because the reality is you're leveling up a lot by virtue of trying. The worst thing you could do is stop trying, right? I, I hate to say try harder, but, you know, in many senses, that is the case. You know, there's more to it than just try harder, you know? You know, look to level up and, uh, you know, ask questions and be a part of the community and all of that. But, you know, that persistence part is, is very, very important. And you got to understand that, 
you know, all the success you see is built upon mountains of failures from these other guys, right? You know, for example, you might watch Ipsex videos, and as I did when I was first getting started, and I was like, wow, he just rips through these boxes so effortlessly, but what he said in that, in that stream just goes to confirm, even if you, even if you, you know, had any doubt of, you know, is he really like that perfect at hacking? Like, no, he, even he experiences the struggle part, you know, it's part of the process, right? And, uh, these are curated videos. These content creators are doing, yeah, they're amazing hackers, but that experience was built upon a mountain of failures in order to get to that point. So hopefully this helped lift your spirits. If you were feeling down or doubting yourself, trust me, I honestly believe that um, more or less anyone can learn this, but not everyone will. That's how I would describe offensive security. If you really uh, are into this stuff, you're taking an interest and you know, you're, you have that resilience to you that you can take some setbacks, some struggles, some failures and keep on going. You will learn this stuff. It's just a matter of time and repetition. Um, but most people will not be willing to, to go that mile, right? No, most people, once they get knocked down, they're out. They're out for the count. So everyone, anyone can do this, but not everyone will. So just when you proceed, just know this, right? Just know that all your favorite hackers used to be really bad at what they do. And, you know, it took a lot of work to get there and you can get there as well. So just learn incrementally, you know, keep watching this content. I always talk about this. I always try to drive this point home and uh, help you guys in any way I can. And if, in, th in that sense, if you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comment section below. You know, maybe I'll make an, a video on I like to get your guys' suggestions. You guys have amazing suggestions. So, And also, yeah, be sure to uh, hit the like button, subscribe as well. And if you want some really in-depth coaching from me, go ahead, check out the uh, link in the description to sign up for the wait list for the web app penetration testing fundamentals course where we really deep diving um, really in depth on uh, web app pen testing. So hope to see you guys there. But for now, I'll catch you guys over in the videos on screen if you want to keep watching. I'll see you guys right over there. Thanks for watching.